Troglodytes. Welcome back to another edition of Troglu's Guitars. Today we have a signature series Brendan Small Snow Falcon from Metalocalypse. Uh, these were a fairly limited edition release that had a lot of issues from the factory. Uh, Gibson's never really been good with their white finished guitars. They always kind of turn a cream color over time due to the, uh, the way Gibson finishes guitars in Nitro. So, let's take a look at this guitar. Once again, this is a limited edition series. I believe it was 500 of these made for the very popular Brendan Small with Metalocalypse. Similar to uh, the Thunder Horse Explorer, uh, they have the Snow Falcon here that Gibson did. What's unique about this one is not only the uh, white finish and you know, it has a cool flying V, but you have this white polymer type board. It's a really interesting process how they make it, but you know you can read about that all you want online. It's just a really unique look to the guitar, which gives it this all white look. But as the finish aged, you can see it's not a perfect white. I would say it appears more cream in person than it does in you know videos and camera and whatnot. However, it's still a cool guitar. Now these things were plagued from the factory with just not being finished very well and the finish is so thin on these they easily check. There's just a lot of things from the factory wrong. There's another thing which thankfully this one doesn't have is there's usually a bunch of like checking here and a bunch of really bad looking cracks up and down the fretboard. This one has a little bit of that as you can see there but not a lot so this one is in good shape I mean it's not perfect but we'll take a look at it here it's been very lightly played frets show minor wear nothing too extravagant here you just set it up to your liking and it's perfect and ready to go I would say the action is about medium action right now. It could be set up better, but it does play okay as is. This one's all original. And as you can see, there are some playing scratches. Got your white speed knobs, which are pretty cool. And some light nicks and dings. And there is finish checking on the front here. You can kind of see those. Those aren't cracks in the wood. They're just in the finish from the finish being very, very thin. And something when you're close up, you can't, can't see it as well, but farther away, you can see where the finish has kind of darkened. Now, some might say that's from play wear and sitting, but I almost think it came from the factory like that. It's like they sprayed it twice there, made it too dark as you can see where it kind of bubbles there and it's it's it looks like a factory defect to me I'll try to get a better view of the finish checks because there is quite a few and you got to be in the right angle to see these but there you can see them stemming down and stemming across there we go and it's really hard to get these to show up, but at the right angle, looking down, you can see it. But as you can tell from your first view, you really can't see them at this angle, even if you know they're there. All right, we'll take a look at the back. We've got some uh, smudges of some nature along there. And you have a little bit of wear at the top of the headstock. No breaks, cracks, or repairs to speak of. Your serial number is there as well. The neck's in good shape. You do have some discoloration towards the top up here. Not too entirely sure what caused that. Now the back of the guitar. As you can see, there's some finishing issues there as well. And some light play wear. See where a strap has been wearing away at that. 
as well as down there. Actually, come to think of it, that's not strap wear. I'm not sure how they managed that. They must have just leaned the guitar up against something. Uh, this back cover, that looks like a gouge in it. It's actually just got the protective coating still on it. So if you took that off, I, I think that would pretty well disappear. You might have some marks, but that's got the plastic cover on it from the factory. Now let's take a little special look at the sides of the guitar on this one. There's no finish checking on this side, but there is that little tiny amount as we had discussed earlier on this side. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, up and down the neck is pretty good. Nothing too bad until you kind of get up towards the neck pocket here. You can see there is a uh, finish check running from here to there. And then some more along the sides. Let's see if we can focus the camera a little better. There we go. And with this one, that looks like a crack, but it it's not. I mean, it's 100% structurally sound. I'm just trying to go through all these minute flaws because these guitars are full of them. They just were not very well made at the factory. I think they might have been rushed a bit much. However, they play awesome. They look very cool. They're definitely going to go up in value. Once again, there's the finish checking on that. But you just kind of have that outline around the binding. I mean, white customs get this all the time too. So it's, it's just kind of how the white finish is. It's very hard to work with. But it does come with the original case here. Gibson USA standard V case. Comes with owner's manual and warranty card. None of that was filled out at the factory though. But it's in good shape. Nothing wrong with it. So thank you for checking out this guitar. If you feel like you might be interested in owning this beautiful snow falcon, feel free to contact me on my reverb page or you can also contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglis, T-R-O-G-O-I-S. Don't forget to subscribe for more guitars, and thank you for watching. Bye.